Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. If you're new to this channel, then a big, big welcome. And in case you're wondering what kind of content that I generally put out on my channel, then um, you can expect one tech video every Wednesday of the week and one lifestyle related video on every uh, Sunday of the week. Now, with that said, today's video is all about reviewing some food. Um, and uh, when we talk about food, we're talking about Asian cuisine. Well, Chinese New Year is just around the corner and what better way than to indulge in some Asian cuisine. Now, we are talking about food from all parts of Asia, like Korea, uh, Hong Kong, or Taiwan style food, all delivered to your doorstep. In case you're wondering how, then we are talking about a particular kitchen in Tangra today. And the reason why I said kitchen is because it's not a restaurant. I'm talking about homemade food from um, a house in Tangra here in Kolkata. And everybody knows that Tangra style Chinese is very popular but this is not exactly tangra style chinese it's actually cuisine from korea hong kong taiwan uh, delivered to your doorstep now i'm talking about a kitchen called jesse young's kitchen here in tangra they've already become very popular and uh, they have extremely delicious food uh, delivered all across kolkata and um, they do not do the delivery themselves but uh, you have a pickup service that you've got to use like swiggy genie and then you can just get the items picked up from their place and get it delivered to you. Now, with that said, I am going to focus on a few things. As always, when it comes to my food reviews, the top most thing that I obviously am going to talk about is the taste. How delicious is it? Number two is the price. Number three is the quantity. And number four is how does it all look? How is it presented? So these are things that I keep in mind generally when I talk about food reviews. And um, this is a video about food reviews. And again, if you're new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button because it does take a lot of time and effort to make these videos. And it would mean a lot and encourage me to make more such content for all you good folks. Now, in case you're wondering, how do you order from Jesse Young's Kitchen? Then I'm gonna put in all the information and all the details in the description box so that you can go ahead and order from Jesse Young's Kitchen as well. Now, with that said, let's get started folks and find out how delicious these items are. Okay, so this is the packaging that you can expect when you order food from Jesse Young's Kitchen and they always make sure that they give you this beautiful and very sweet card and they have a very sweet note here. Really appreciate that. And uh, as you can see, the packaging is all top notch. Uh, today I've ordered in some kimchi, some uh, bok choy, very popular with Chinese households, uh, some Hainanese chicken, some Lu Rao pork, some pork char siu noodles and um, also some spicy stir fried noodles with fried chicken so these are the items that i am going to be talking about today now this is the packaging how it all comes in so again in terms of packaging uh, you can rest assured that it's all safe very hygienic and very well packed so you don't have to worry about um, you know the hygiene of uh, the packaging it's extremely good and here is how it looks with all the lids open and as soon as we open the lid off of the packaging let me tell you that the fragrance of this food all the beautiful smell i mean it smells so good and you can literally tell that all these items are fresh because um of course you know i'm a foodie i've eaten so many places here in kolkata and there are certain places you know where you can smell that the oil is not very fresh yes i'm right you can actually make out if the oil is fresh or not just by smelling it and here look at all these items you know they look beautiful presented so well especially look at this chasui noodles look at the color of that pork it's nice red oven roasted pork along with the noodles we're going to talk about that it comes along with some pak choy on the side you've got the um, stir fried noodles with the fried chicken on top and again you've got some cucumber as a salad on the side you've got some hainanese chicken here and then you have also got the lu rao pork look at that lu rao pork wow you've got um, a nice layer of meat and fat and uh, i think it's really balanced well together very nice pieces um, from um, the looks of it 
you've got some bok choy as well they all look very fresh i'm sure they're going to be crunchy as well but we're going to do a crunch test later on as well and then finally you've got the kimchi which is very popular when it comes to uh, um, uh, korea so uh, very popular with koreans and they eat it almost every day you can say so this is how it all looks and uh, it looks absolutely beautiful and of course you can't my mouth is already watering by the way um, because it smells so good as well and obviously and you can't smell it on the camera but let me tell you from my experience that it smells beautiful uh, extremely good very aromatic and uh, <laughs> uh, I cannot express it you know right now I'm at a loss of words but that's how good it looks beautiful extremely good extremely good and again you know I'm just gonna show you the card again and don't worry if you can't uh, you know make out the details properly i'm gonna put out all the information in the description box below as well so you'll be able to make out you know where to order from okay i'm gonna start with some greens on my plate so i'm gonna take some pak choy on my plate to begin with okay so i'm gonna start off with some pak choy and uh, when we talk about pak choy pak choy has to be cooked at um, you know, you could say the right temperature for the right period of time because again, if you overcook it, it's gonna be all mushy and moist, and it's not gonna taste good. So, pak choy is best when you know there's crunch in every bite. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a crunch test. Okay. So here we go. The first bite from pak choy. Mmm. Wow. It is crunchy beautiful now again you know there's some nice chili oil you know there is in here generally when you have pak choy it's um, usually bland all right but uh, here you've got a, uh, a hint of you know some hotness coming in from red chilies I don't know if you can see this on the plate but there's some red chilies in the pak choy as well and um, the taste is good it's stir fried in garlic and um, along with the red chilies, I think, you know, there's some hot chili oil as well. Mmm. Nice crunch in every single bite. And you can literally taste the flavors of the garlic, the um, white soya sauce, by the way. There's a little bit of white soya sauce as well. Or as a lot of people say, light. Soya sauce. Now, see, I'm no chef here, but I have been eating Chinese food for quite a long time. So I can say, you know, I mean, the kind of ingredients that usually have gone. And from the taste of it, I can taste light soya sauce, garlic, which has been fried. The flavor has gone very well in the pak choy. Some chilies. And, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's got a punch. The chilies are quite hot. Wow. It, it kicks in a little later on. Wow, so it is quite hot. In case you know you you're the kind of person who likes hot food, you're gonna love this. It's it's it's. I'm sorry, it's got this um, different take on the pak choy because, like I said, generally you know when you eat pak choy in uh, Chinese households, then um, they're usually bland. They're not this um, hot or even this flavorful actually hmm beautiful all right so now I'm gonna start off by trying out some Hainanese chicken now this is very popular if you have traveled to Taiwan or Hong Kong or um, to any other Asian countries like even Bangkok I mean you get Hainanese chicken rice it's very popular all across Asia and uh, it looks beautiful it, it's got that uh, you know chicken skin on top and what the skin does for the dish is it naturally leaves the oil from the skin of the chicken so I don't know if you can see this but you know it's got a nice gravy and a part of it is oil that has been left from the skin of the chicken so it looks extremely juicy tender and uh, whoa look at all that garlic a little bit of sauce just gonna put that on top let's taste this now Okay, now time for how it tastes. 
it definitely looks good there's a nice glaze on top we're going to start with the salad the cucumber mm mm you can literally say that the juices are actually you know even with the cucumber the flavors really go very well together of the chicken the salad and now for the first bite of the chicken wow mm man this is amazing wow poof look at that skin on top look at that skin and that's what you know makes it look glazy and the flavor of the garlic is mm wow wow it's simply so good again chicken if you cook it too much it becomes very rubbery all right and uh, that's not what you have here first of all the pieces that they've given it's it's all from the leg so it's not it's not exactly breast piece it's actually the leg pieces and the leg pieces are generally the uh, you could say the darker meat you know when it comes to chicken and um, i don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera but this is the leg piece and leg pieces are more tender they have more fat in it and mm this is so good again it's a very simple dish and what brings the you know i mean what makes this dish so good is the simple ingredients that are in it like the garlic again light soya sauce and there's some um spring onions in it as well and um, i don't know what their secret ingredient is but you know i mean this is very different to you know what i've had in um uh, in countries like asia or even in uh, singapore and i like this by the way i like this more than that again tengra and uh, kolkata is known for its chinese food in fact you've got people even in canada you know i've got friends and relatives who rave about kolkata style chinese food or indian chinese and uh, you definitely have a different touch to it but it's not exactly the tengra style food that you you know that you'd come to expect and again it's not exactly like you know the hong kong or taiwan style hainanese chicken it's somewhere in between but i prefer this over you know the authentic um, what do you call it uh, hainanese chicken it's 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 a perfect fusion and i think as indians you know we would love this more than the local or authentic hainanese chicken i love this this is so tender this is so good the meat is juicy very nicely cooked and i think it's been steamed so the the flavor of the garlic the sauce everything is gone right inside the chicken so you know how in some dishes on top you have the flavor and in between it's bland no this is not like that there is flavor and taste in every single bite and even if you go right in the middle if you take a piece of you know the chicken right from let's say um you know somewhere in between and hmm even that has the flavors you know so the flavors you could say have penetrated deep within the meat and you can enjoy the flavors in every single bite whether it's the top part of the meal or whether it's right in between so wow now i'm going to try a little bit of this beautiful looking pork you can see the layer of fat and meat together you can see the layers i don't know if you can see it as well on the camera but i'll just try to bring it in the light and wow look at those layers so a layer of fat a layer of meat it looks absolutely fantastic can't wait to you know try this out and let's see how this tastes okay so finally the moment of truth let's see how it tastes and again you know pork is such a thing that when you've got tough fat all right it's not good pork fat should be <laughs> something that melts in your mouth now that is what i call good quality pork all right if you've got 
fat that you're fighting with inside your mouth, then that's not good quality pork meat, all right? A good quality pork fat. So let's finally understand or see you know, how this pork fat is or pork meat is. Let's, let's. Mm. Wow. Man, this is, you could say, <laughs> a bite of, you could say, bliss. <laughs> and um, the flavors here, wow. I can definitely say that, you know, they've put in some five spices. Mm. Now the meat, by the way, the fat, it melts in your mouth. And the meat <clears throat> is also tender. Mm. Lovely. Now, it definitely has some dark soya sauce and it also has five spices. Five spices, by the way, it's very popular in, Ch uh, in, in Chinese cuisine and mm. even the veggies in it. There's crunch in every bite. Now I'm gonna try this big piece, all right? I'm gonna see if I can put all of this in my mouth. The meat, the fat, everything together. Wow. Mm. Amazing. This is so far the highlight. I mean, so far, I haven't tried out the other items, but wow. If you are a lover of pork meat, you are gonna fall in love with this. My wife absolutely loves this. In fact, you know, she's raving about it from behind the camera. That's how much she loves this item. It's absolutely a must try. You know, if you're ordering in from Jesse Young's kitchen, now again, another big bite. So good. All right, now I'm gonna try out the uh, char sui uh, noodles. So it's oven roasted red pork, as you can see, along with some noodles and there's some greens as well, again, some pak choy. Now, before I even dig in, the one thing that I do wanna mention is, look at the thickness of these noodles, all right? These are proper homemade noodles, okay? Now, if you order in noodles from the market, they're not gonna be as thick as these are. And let me tell you that the ones that we get from the market, they're not, they're not good, they're not delicious, they're not as tasty as these homemade noodles. Now, mm, the noodles itself, you know, has, you know, some flavor which has been transferred from the pork, obviously, again, this pork is high quality pork. And the char siu pork is extremely popular in Chinese households. And you have Chinese, you know, families cook this, especially during New Year's. And it's one of those things, you know, which has a perfect balance of sweetness and saltiness. And um, it's one of those Chinese items, you know, which in fact, even if you have it the second day or the third day, it still tastes good. In fact, it tastes better. Let me tell you that, you know, out of my personal experience, this is an item which on the second or the third day, if you just take a little bit of um, uh, garlic and chilies and stir fry them, with some soya sauce maybe you know on the second day or just like that just it's gonna be so delicious because chinese food unlike indian food does not generally taste good on the second day or even in the evening so my suggestion when you're having chinese is definitely to have it fresh freshly prepared but this is one item the cha si po that even if you have it in the evening or the second day Trust me, it still tastes extremely good. And it, it's got such a great flavor. Again, the pork that they have used is high quality pork. I can't stop raving about the quality of the pork because it is it is that good. And even the noodles. Mm.
the noodles have been cooked at the right temperature again noodles and spaghetti very particular about them because if you overdo them all right they become sticky mushy they break here they've cooked it absolutely perfectly yeah and it's not mushy it's not all cobbled up together it's it it's just beautiful first of all these noodles i'm absolutely in love with them because this is exactly what i love about homemade chinese food homemade noodles all right they're thick very nice beautiful to taste mm and the flavor of the char siu has been passed on to the noodles so brilliant this is a fantastic noodles if you're a fan of food which is not spicy if you want something you know which is balanced with a hint of sweetness all right you will definitely appreciate the char siu noodles so delicious very very good mm Now I'm just going to move over to the stir fried noodles along with the fried chicken and um the noodles that you had in the char siu um uh, was not stir fried all right it was just boiled noodles I'm sure they boiled the noodles in some kind of a broth most likely a pork or a chicken broth I guess and that's what you know gives it more flavor now I'm going to try out the stir fried noodles now if you're in Kolkata then you already know that this is what we call Hakka styled chow mein, all right? Mm. Fantastic. Beautiful. Now, again, the materials, I mean the ingredients, they're all top quality. There's some green and yellow pepper as well again very well made if you overcook pepper the flavor is so strong that it will take over the whole dish all right so pepper is such an item that when you add it in any dish whether it's an indian curry or whether it's chinese in this case i'm trying out the stir fried noodles it can overpower the other flavors but here it mixes beautifully with the other vegetables like onions there's spring onions there's cabbage carrots and um, nothing's overdone i've always said this i'll say it again food is about balance and that balance has been maintained here when it comes to the stir fried noodles mm and the fried chicken these fried chicken pieces i mean they're very big by the way if you go over to their instagram page as well there are some videos that they put out about the fried chicken and mm in case you're wondering well it's just fried chicken i can make it at home trust me that's exactly what i thought in the beginning you know because my wife is chinese and we do have chinese food cooked at home as well so i told my wife You know when I looked at the photos only and I had not tried it out. It's just fried chicken you can make it at home. But trust me, I don't know what they put in it. Maybe there's a secret ingredient. It's very different. The taste is unique. You won't you won't be able to get that in a restaurant in Tangra. And we've still not been able to achieve this at home. All right? So, when it comes to the stir fried noodles with the fried chicken, you will not be disappointed. The fried chicken is extremely delicious. Again, They are all leg pieces. I think they are all leg pieces. Let me just double check. Um uh, Yeah, they are all mainly leg pieces and um uh, very tender, nice meat. Um even though it's been delivered at home. So remember, this food was prepared almost an hour back. It took 40 minutes for the guy from Swiggy Genie to get it delivered to our places. And even after that, you know, the 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 meat is still nice, juicy, tender and um flavorful full of flavor and this is not a flavor that you can do at home all right we've tried it uh i guess you know we'll have to talk to you know the uh the the good folks at Jesse Young's kitchen to understand how they've done that but 
I don't know if they are willing to share that, but it's very delicious. Okay, now I'm also gonna try out the kimchi. Although I'm not a fan of kimchi, by the way, but since I am doing this food review, I do have to taste or test out every single item that we've ordered. Now my wife absolutely loves kimchi, and um, that's why you know we ordered kimchi in the first place. <laughs> in case you're wondering, if you don't like it, why did you order it? So that's the reason why I ordered it. All right. So I'm gonna try the kimchi out as well. Hmm. Wow. As soon as you take the first bite, you know, there's a very, very um, obvious flavor coming from the sesame seeds and the sesame oil, all right? So there's a good flavor of sesame in the kimchi. And again, there's crunch in every bite. So when it comes to the freshness of the ingredients, you will not be disappointed. Again, even though I'm not a fan of kimchi, I actually like this. I love sesame oil in my Chinese food, by the way. And some items, it really makes the dish or takes the dish rather, you know, to a different level. And that's exactly what they've done with this kimchi. It's, it's extremely good. You can't miss the flavor of the sesame in it. In fact, there's sesame seeds sprinkled on top as soon as you open this and it is very good. It's also got some carrots, uh, some, I think, uh, got some chilies as well. So some fresh green chilies as well. Although it's not very spicy, by the way, you know, if you don't have a bite of the chilies, it's not spicy at all. Although it may look or appear that way, it's not spicy. It's, it's very good, all right? For a person who does not love or like kimchi, to say that, you know, I mean, this kimchi is good. <laughs> Uh, I think, you know, you can understand why I'm going with this. So, a big thumbs up for the kimchi as well. Alright folks, wow. I ate my heart out. Now, the food was so delicious that I think I may have just overeaten. Uh, now, with that said, you've all seen how the food is presented, how it's packaged, how it looks. And in terms of taste, I can guarantee you that you would not find these flavors in any of the uh, restaurants that you head into, you know, Tengra. The, the flavors, the taste, the aroma, everything is unique, all right? And um, you can only get this type of food when you travel outside to other Asian countries like Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Bangkok, etc. And if you want to enjoy those flavors while you're still at your home, then Jesse Young's Kitchen is absolutely the right place to order it from. Now, in terms of price, in case you're wondering how much did this all cost? And obviously, you know, I haven't still spoken about the quantity. Now the quantity was so much that there are three of us who have eaten and we've got so much leftovers that I can literally not cook or order in the night. So uh, you still have, you know, two people who can eat from the leftovers, you know, that have, that have been left. So in terms of the taste, absolutely delicious, big, big thumbs up in terms of the packaging or in terms of the presentation, uh, big big thumbs up and even in terms of the quantity a big big thumbs up in fact it's it's good enough for almost you could say almost four to five people you could say if you're not very heavy eaters you know the the food that you saw in this video now in case you're wondering how much did this food cost now with the packaging included it just cost us a total of 1680 rupees for all these items so we're talking about the kimchi, we're talking about the lura pork, we're talking about the uh, char sui noodles, we're talking about the uh, bak choy, we're talking about the stir fry noodles, uh, we're talking about the Hainanese chicken. All these items, the total bill was just, you heard that right, 1680 rupees. So even if I round that off, it's 1700 rupees. By the way, in case you know you order in from Jesse Young's kitchen and if you post it on your social media like Facebook or Instagram, then you could even get a 10% discount on your next order. Uh, so that's something you know that they are promoting as well. So I thought I should let you know about that as well. We also got a discount because we had ordered um, you know, from Jesse Young's Kitchen the last time as well. And this time we got a 10% discount on our order. But even if you don't consider that 10% discount, let's say you know I spent 1800 rupees for this food. Was it worth it? 
most definitely in fact more than you know what you're paying for uh, high quality ingredients top presentation when it comes to the uh, delivery and the packaging and um, the taste man you it, they, they've just taken Asian cuisine and taken it to a whole different level especially here in Kolkata all right you will not find these flavors uh, this this type of cuisine here in Kolkata in any of the restaurants in Tengra um, by the way I've, I've eaten at a lot of restaurants in Tengra and let me assure you that you won't find those flavors so if you do want to enjoy these flavors, the best place to order it from is from Jesse Young's Kitchen. Again, I'm going to link up uh, the details and the description in the description box below so that you can order in from Jesse Young's Kitchen as well. Now that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've liked the video. Let me know, you know what you think of it in terms of presentation, in terms of the content. And if there's any more such content that you want me to put out and if you want me to review more food items from any other restaurant or any other kitchen, then do let me know in the suggestions. Um, in your suggestions in the comment box below all right so again if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel please hit that like and subscribe button it definitely you know encourages me and encourages me and motivates me to make more such video and put out this kind of content for all you good folks so with that said that's it folks until the next one take care stay safe and may god bless you all